my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for GRE. We have been solving GRE math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the revised GRE, the second edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 260. Please turn to it, page number 260, and today is our lesson number 366. These problems that you see there on page number 260 are the exact same problem that appeared in the first edition of the revised GRE. We have already solved all the math problems from this book. If you're interested in watching the original solution to the problem, you will find the original solution on day number 165. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what it has to say. For problem number four is what we're about to do, the very first problem on page number 260. It says, what is the sum of the measure of the interior angles? What is the sum of the measure of interior angles of a decagon? So listen, before we worry about what a decagon is, let's start out with something simple, shall we? And then we'll build our way up to the so-called decagon. So here we go. Let's start with something simple. Sum of the interior angles of a triangle where well, we already know some of the interior angles of the triangle is 180 everybody knows that some of the angles some of the angles in a triangle any triangle doesn't matter what particular type of triangle it is whether it is an isosceles triangle or obtuse or acute or, or any kind of triangle the sum of the angles the interior angles of a triangle is 180 what about a four-sided picture? Some, some of the interior angles of a four-sided picture. What do we call a four-sided picture? Any four-sided picture. Again, it doesn't need to be a square or a rectangle or a parallelogram. It could be any four-sided picture. A four-sided picture is called quadrilateral. And quadrilateral is exactly what it says. It's a four-sided picture. Here we go. Four-sided picture. One, two, three. And four. There is, that's a four-sided picture. What's going to be the sum of the the degree, uh, sum of the uh, measure of the interior angles of this particular shape? Well, what we realize, what we see here, what we see on close inspection is that a four-sided picture is nothing more than a marriage of two triangles. A four-sided picture, a quadrilateral, is nothing more than a union of two triangles. There you go. It's a union of two triangles right here. There is one triangle. There is another triangle. We could we could have gone along this diagonal, we could have gone, or we should, we should have we could have cut it along this diagonal. But it is made up of two triangles, and we, since we know the sum of the degree measure of one triangle is 180, the sum sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral is just two times 180. Let's do the next one. Let's move on to some some of the measure of. Sum of the interior angles, sum of some of the measure of the interior angles of a pentagon, a five-sided picture. Let's take a look at it. What do you suppose the five-sided picture is going to be? Pentagon simply means five-sided picture. So there we go. We're going to draw a five-sided picture. One, two, three, four, and five. There is your five-sided picture. What's going to be some of the angles of this uh, of this uh, picture? Again, if we look uh, look at it closely, we realize that a pentagon, a five-sided picture doesn't have to be a symmetrical pentagon, as you can see this one is not. A pentagon is simply a union of three triangles. It is made up of three triangles. There we go. I'm just going to break it up any which we will like. Here we go. There is one. There is one triangle right there. There is another triangle right here. One, two, and three. And since we know, since we know the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180, and pentagon is made up of three triangles, the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is simply going to be 180 times 3. Let's move on then. A six-sided picture. What do we call a six-sided picture? A six-sided picture is called, and you probably guessed already what, what is going to, what's, what's going to happen. A hexagon. A hexagon is a six-sided picture. Let's take a look at it. One, two, three, four. 5 and 6. There we go. There is a six-sided picture. Again, it does not need to be symmetrical. I did that on purpose so that so that uh, we do not think that it needs to be a symmetrical, nice-looking hexagon. It does not. An hexagon, we'll find out in a second, that it is simply a union of 
four triangle. A hexagon is made up of nothing but four triangles. There we go. There's one triangle right there. There's another triangle. There's another triangle. There's another triangle. It is made up of four triangles, and therefore, since the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180, hexagon is made up of four triangles, therefore, the sum of the degrees of the interior angles of a hexagon is simply going to be 180 times 4. Let's move on then. Let's summarize everything that we just learned. Let's summarize, shall we? Let's summarize everything and see what we find. Here's a summary. A three-sided picture we just found out. Three-sided picture, which is what we call a triangle, we found out that the sum of the interior angles of a three-sided triangle, watch what happens. A three-sided triangle, a triangle we know is 180, which can be written as 180, which can be written as 3 minus 2 times 180. Because 3 minus 2 is 1, and just 1 times 180 is 180. We know the sum of the degree measure of a triangle is 180, which is exactly what this is, written in a weird way, that's all. We also found out the sum of the degree measures of a four-sided picture, four-sided picture we just found out a little while ago, was 2 times 180. Well, 2 times 180 can be written as 4 minus 2 times 180. Because 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 times 180. There you go, that's four-sided picture, the quadrilateral that we just discussed. We found out that for some of the degree measure of a pentagon, we just found out a little while ago that some of the degree measure of a pentagon, a five-sided picture, is simply three times 180. We just saw that it is made up of nothing more than three triangles. Well, three times 180 again can be written as five minus two, which is three times 180. We also found out that a hexagon, which is made up of six sides, a six-sided, a six-sided picture, we found out that it is nothing more than a union of four triangles, and therefore the degree measure of the interior angles of a hexagon is simply four times 180. Four times 180 can also be written as six minus two times 180. Do we see a pattern here? The pattern is that. If we have three-sided picture, it's three minus two. If we have four-sided picture, it's four minus two. If five-sided picture, it's five minus two. The six-sided picture is six minus two. Therefore, if we have a if we have a picture which has n sides, whatever the n happens to be, an n-sided picture, the degree measure, the sum of the interior angles of an n-sided picture is simply going to be n minus two one times one eighty. That's our general formula. And since we are talking about the degree measure of a decagon, degree measure of the interior angles of a decagon, what is a decagon actually? What does decagon mean? Decagon has this prefix. Deca, which is where the word decade comes from. Decade means 10 years. Decagon is simply a 10-sided picture. A decagon is a 10-sided picture. A 10-sided picture. And therefore, the degree measure of a decagon is simply going to be, we know the formula, it is simply n minus 2. Therefore, the degree measure of the interior angles of a decagon is simply going to be n minus 2 times 180. Well, n in this case is 10. N, n in this case is 10 because decagon has 10 sides. So it's 10 minus 2 times 180. There you go, there's our answer. The answer is 8, minus one, 8 times 180 whatever that happens to be. There's just your answer. That is our answer. Let's find out. Shall we what 8 times 180 is? Shall we? Let's do it here. 18 times 8 is 8 is a 64. Carry 4 carry 6 and 8 plus 6 is 14. So this looks like it is 1440. There is your answer. 
the degree measure of the interior angles of a decagon is simply 10 minus 2 times 180, which works out to be 1440. That's all. That's all there was. What I'm going to do now, what we're going to do now actually, is to actually find out the same degree measure from a little bit of a different perspective. I want you, I want you to be able to look at it not just from this perspective, but also from a different angle. We're going to do the exact same, we're going to, we're going to find the exact same answer. We're going to find that the degree measure of a decagon is in fact 1440, but we're going to look at it from a different perspective. I need obviously the room, so I need to raise all of this, but before I raise it, let me get out of your way in case you want to get a clear view and gives me a chance to have a sip of my tea. There we go. I need the room obviously. The question is, how else can we find the degree measure of a decagon? Well, the very first thing we're going to have to do is to actually draw the bloody thing, a 10-sided picture. That's what we're going to do here. Let's draw a 10-sided picture, shall we? One, two, three, four, and five. There you go. There is our 10-sided picture. What we just drew is a decagon. It has 10 sides. I'm going to show you here. The decagon that we just arrived at is it is a 10-sided picture. It does not need to be a regular decagon. Regular means symmetric. It, it does not need to be a symmetric picture as we, as we saw uh, in all the different scenarios here. So here are the 10 sides. Here we go. There is your one side. There is our second side. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, ten. 11 and 12. Why the hell am I getting 12? This is not good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Aha! That's because I counted these five lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I forgot this line that I had already drawn. Inadvertently, I ended up drawing six lines. Let me start again. This is quite embarrassing. But lucky for me, nobody is watching. So here is our first line. 1. Two, three, four, and five. There is our decagon. And as you can clearly see, this is not a regular decagon. It's not a symmetric one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's a ten-sided picture. It is a ten-sided picture. And the question is, what is the degree measure of the interior angles? The interior angles that we're talking about are these angles, this angle. One, two, three, this, this side, two sides are meeting here, so this is almost a 180 degrees, the way we drew it. This, this angle. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. What's the degree measure of these 10 angles? That's the question. That's what we're trying to answer here. Listen carefully. Well, the very first thing we notice, the very first thing we notice is the decagon is made up of 10 triangles, as you can clearly see here. It is made up of 10 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. The question is, why is the degree measure of the interior angles of this picture is 1440? Well, the answer is here. There is your answer. The answer is, because it is made up of 10 triangles, it is made up of decagon, is made up of 10 triangles. And since each triangle has 180 degrees, therefore the degree measure is going to be 180 times 10, times 10, watch what happens, times 10, but when we talk about the interior angles, when we talk about the interior angles, we do not count these angles, we do not count this angle. And what is the degree measure of these angles, these angles that we see here, what is the degree measure of these angles? Well, as you can clearly see, it makes a whole circle, and a circle is 360 degrees. We do not count those angles. Interior angles are these angles. Those are not interior angles. Therefore, it is minus 360, which is same as 180 times 10 minus, which is same as 180 times 10 minus 
2 times 180 and that of course is same as 180 times 10 minus 2 which is exactly what we found here that's it that was the end of that question let's do number 5 also to, together while we are at it because number 5 is related to number 4 in number 5 what they're asking here is that if the decagon in the exercise 4 were to be regular if we were dealing with a symmetric decagon then the question is what is the measure of each of this interior angle each of this interior angle what would have been the measure of the, those angles if we have a symmetric decagon let's find out shall we we need the room let's do it there in case of a regular or if you like symmetric that's what regular means in, in case of a regular or symmetric decagon each of the interior angle will equal will equal well there are 10 of them there are 10 of these angles we just counted them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 there are 10 of them and we know that sum of these angles is 1440 1440 is the sum and there are 10 of them so it's simply it's simply 144 that's all there is it's simply 144 so that was question number five by the way i will see you tomorrow okay bye now